Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a thermocoupler without any special equipment. I'm just going to use a car battery as the power source. All you need is a mechanical pencil, lead from a mechanical pencil, and some leads from the battery. I'm going through a 10 amp fuse. Just in case I touch the leads together, I don't smoke the leads, I blow the fuse instead. And you can use a power supply. 28 volt 2 amp power supply it does a pretty good job too but a lot of people don't have power supplies so I'm going to use the car battery to do this so what you need is some thermocouple wire and you have to strip it at both ends one end will be hooked to the meter and the other end will be the actual thermocouple I'm going to make here in a second and I'll show you how so you take both lead ends and you loosely wrap one side just to get a good electrical connection. And then the other end I tightly wrap and I use this clip so I can get a good tight wrap. It makes it easier to weld, get a better weld. Then I cut that back to about a quarter of an inch. And I take one lead from the battery and hook it to the meter side. And the other end through the pencil lead I just weld it. Okay, so here's my final setup. Ended up making two separate thermocouples because the meter I got on Amazon is a dual thermocouple meter. Got it for like 20 some bucks. Also, you can get these connectors on Amazon. I'll show a link for those in the description also. So all you do is just turn it on says it's about 60 degrees here in my garage I'll just touch this one here shows it raising because of my body temperature and this one raises up so that's it they're pretty easy to make thanks for watching